Now then, now then, now then, are you there? It's a hive of feared, fevered, <laughs> feared, frenzy of anticipation and activity. If only you could have seen what happened in the last five minutes prior to yeah. this going live. Oh yeah. Yeah. Seamstresses. Seamstresses dashing around or with their heads up Gareth's <laughs> shirt. Audio technicians, Audio losing, technicians. losing their heads. Things not talking to each other, technically speaking. My God. <laughs> but oh. now all is well. All is well, apart from that it's 95,000 degrees inside here. <laughs> but we're good to go. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I've got to be careful because there's more wires than ever. Because I, I didn't tell you this, but stuck down the back of my shorts is both your headphone cable thing of me and mine. But we're good mates, aren't we? We're, we're not that close. <laughs> good God. I mean... I could have kept that to myself. <laughs> you <me>. could have. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've done it now. I've done it now. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Quite literally out of the bags. Yeah. The puppy's out of the basket. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
It's going to be one of those nights, is it? Up the bus, she had thought she sang way. She saw Tuesdays and forgetfulness, and a little money saved. Just she know, I don't know, but from here I can tell that it would try. The patience of angel. Never try. try the patience of angels, the angels. Then you know that something's wrong when the morning hurts your eyes, and the baby won't stop crying. You'll be waiting. Until you die, or could I be any good if I was all I think and then would try, try the patience of angels, then would try the patience of angels. There's a dog in a wall. In the street, in a town, where no one knows her name. She's the patience of angels. From here I can tell There's a door In a wall In a house In the street In the town Where no one knows Her name There's a door In a wall In a house In the house In the street In the street In a town Where no one knows She's the patience of angels you were doing there. What a fantastic guy. <laughs> you might be seeing a lot of this towel tonight. As I daub myself. We're absolutely honoured here tonight in the Zen Den. We have a select, small but beautiful and perfectly formed live audience. There were five of them, now there are four. Sally's We've gone. driven one away already. <laughs> that was Sally. She's probably off on an important mission. All right, yeah. So we have June from next door, who you hear about from time to time, on account of she has a wonderful life with no internet. Oh. That's good. And there's Nikki and Steve, who you've met before, who do have internet, and quite a few dogs. 
And then there's Andrea, who as of yesterday has one dog. Who we are yet to meet. But looking forward to his raisin her raisinness with bated breath. Oh, Sally's gone for fans. She's gone for fags? Got, no, f- oh, fans. Sorry. <laughs> got four fans here already. Yeah. Oh, fans, fans. As in... Uh, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. You can see that I'm melting. Perhaps you'll come and fan us. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> the full service. <laughs> Shall we continue? Or? Yeah, let's. Jolly good. So, um... I think I'll hang, hang on a minute. What? It's not too early for that, is it? Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, cheers all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your mouth. <laughs> That's definitely a problem drinking. Well, it's not because you're out of practice, is it? No, certainly not the last 15 months. My God. Um, should we do that there song? <laughs> Uh, this is a song um, which I found out yesterday was written by Laurie McKenna, um, who I absolutely love. I didn't know she'd, writ- she'd written this, but um, I've been playing it for years. Um, and it's called Girl Crush, and it's by Little Big Town. And I got a girl crush I hate to admit it, but Slowing down, and I got a real bad on everything she has. That smile on that midnight laugh, she's giving you now. I want to taste her lips, yeah, cause they taste like you. I want to drown. In a bottle of her perfume And I want her long, long hair And I want her magic touch Yeah, cause maybe then You want me just as much I got a girl crush The way that she's pulling you in Lord knows I've tried I can't get her off my mind I want to taste her lips Yeah, cause they taste like you I want to drown myself In the bottle of her her long, long hair, and I want her magic touch. Yeah, cause maybe then you want me just as much. I got a girl crush. And I got a girl crush. Drown myself 
the bottle of her perfume. I want her long blonde hair, and I want her magic touch. Yeah, cause maybe then you want me just as much. I got a girl crush. And I got a girl crush. And I got a girl crush. I hate to admit it, but. I got a hot rush, but it's slowing down. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, that'd be nice. Quality, mate. Incoming fan. Look oh. out. This has got potential for disaster. Middleton under 12s, <laughs> circa 1980. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, not out, by the way. I think my score was 12 not out. Middleton, Middleton Junior Champions. Wow. Yeah, look out. <laughs> <laughs> under 12s. These are hey, very good. Improv. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you've got, you got the kit there, have you? She's literally oh, making, them, making them to order. <laughs> Streaming people, would you all like Sally to make you a fan? That's going to monkey with the focus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A few of them want fans. They're all clapping for fans. So, if we play something that I can do that with at the same time, then... That'll be something folky, then. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, here we go. Look out. Oh. Can't be right all the time, can you? There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, they do work. Yeah. yeah they're all say yes, please. Well, G Graham wants one, and he's just around the corner. You could drop him one round. <laughs> just send it over the fence. No, it's about three. Well, it's two fences. Need a weight on the end. Tie it to a brick. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Graham. Sorry, Graham. Apologies. What you could do, Sally, seeing as you're up and down on your feet, you could open those doors, but you'd have to do it from the other side. Yeah. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Shall we? A bit, a bit of Motown. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, the place where I used to live, the local taxi firm, was called Motown, and um, it was exactly one digit different from our phone home number. Oh. Home phone number. Phone home. Phone home number. Et, um, yeah. So that was that was that was great fun. That oh. first few years. Then I just decided. Um, I'd just say, yeah, no problem. Uh, what? Yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> and just not, you know. So eight four one eight one. There you <laughs> are. <laughs> oh eight nine eight double five double five double five. Was that in Middleton? I, I think it, maybe it was that call centre. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I digress. Yep. <laughs>
very much. God, you're on fire there, mate. I'm literally on fire, yeah. That's <laughs> why it's pouring out of me. Right. You're doing the job of ten men on, on, on that guitar. <laughs> Then that beautiful little, what's that, harmonics at the end, was it? Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, it's just a mistake. Yeah. God, you're subtle, isn't you? <laughs> and fiery and then subtle. Fiery, subtle. Oh. Okay. So, um... Uh, this is an 80s song. But only by virtue of the fact that it was released on the 31st of December 1989. So it just crept in. They must have done that on purpose, obviously. I reckon yeah. so. Uh, it's by Delamitri. And um, I, I read an interview with Justin Curry once, and um, the lead singer and, and writer of this. And uh, he said, if anybody asks me, what Delamitri means again. I'm gonna, so, I just thought I'd point that out. Well, we won't ask. It was him, not me, so. <laughs> and the same with Stuart, Stuart Adamson from the, the Skids, if you remember them, they had that sort of. Uh, uh, I do remember, yeah. Yeah, that kind of, um, it was like a bagpipe guitar sound, and that was another, <laughs> another interview I read with him. He said, if anybody asks me <laughs> how I get that bagpipe guitar sound again, I'm, I'm going to... Chin him. Yeah. Rest in peace. Anyway. It's called Nothing Ever Happens. And don't ask me what Delamitri means. Post office clocks put up signs saying positions closed. The secretaries turn off typewriters and put on their coats. Janitors padlock the gates for security guards to patrol. The bachelors phone up their friends for a drink while the married ones turn on a chat show. And we'll all be lonely tonight and lonely tomorrow. Gentlemen, time please, you know we can't serve anymore. Now the traffic lights change to stop when there's nothing to go. And by five o'clock everything's dead and every third car is a cab. While ignorant people sleep in their beds like the dove White mice in the college lab but Nothing ever happens Nothing happens at all The needle returns to the start of the song And we'll all sing along like before And we'll all be lonely tonight Or lonely tomorrow the telephone exchanges click while there's nobody there While the Martians could land in the car park and no one would care When computer terminals rip out the gains No they don't In the value of copper and tin While American business and spap up Van Gogh's For the price of a hospital wing Nothing ever happens Nothing happens at all The needle returns to the start of the song And we'll all sing along like before And we'll all be lonely tonight And lonely tomorrow Bill Harding 
was advertised Products that nobody needs While angry from Manchester Rise to complain about All the repeats on TV and close circuit cameras and department stores shoot the same movie every day. While the stars of these films neither die nor get killed, just survive constant action replayed. And nothing ever happens, nothing happens at all. The needle returns to the start of the song, and we'll all sing along like before. Nothing ever happens Nothing happens at all They'll burn down the synagogues at six o'clock And we'll all go along like before And we'll all be lonely tonight And lonely tomorrow The eagle-eared among you will have noticed that I deliberately transposed the second and third verse in that. D it was a deliberate choice, okay? Did you notice that? I didn't. Somebody will have done. <laughs> Angry of Manchester will have. Angry of Manchester will definitely have noticed it. He's like, that's not my verse. Still crazy, maybe. That's a good idea. It's not, you know, I'm not. It's, it's not a judgment. I'm just saying. <laughs> it. It's a beautiful song that you sing very well. Thank you very much. But it's quite accurate as well as a <laughs> value judgment. We're a bit giddy to be together again. We've been together all day, haven't we? It's a bit. It's a bit ridiculous. It's been a long time. It's getting a bit too much. We hung out <laughs> in a in a field, not just any field. Well, Wooten Park, we like to call it. Uh, it is the field behind the village hall. It's the field of dreams right now. I don't care. It's the village hall. Yeah. And that was lovely. It was. And the sun stayed off, just sort of like it was a nice breeze, and it was kind of cloud cover, so it was all right. And then the sun's right here now, so <laughs> it's making up for it. This is still crazy after all these years. Written by Paul Simon. And the original version had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tenor sax solo by Michael Brecker, which I'll try and doff my cap to. I'll do my best. <laughs> Met my old lover on the street last night. She seemed so glad to see me, and I just smiled. So we're talking about the old times. We drank ourselves a beer. I'm still crazy after all these years. I'm still crazy after all. Yes. Not the kind of man who tends to socialize. I seem to lean on all familiar ways. And I hear no fool for love songs, they had a whisper in my ear. I'm still crazy after all. Still crazy after all these years. Four in the morning, and crept out, yawning, hold on, you might laugh away. Well, I never worry, why should I? Know 
it's all gonna fade. I know it's all. stuff what a song mr simon goulding's in the audience Ooh, how lovely delightful simon goulding hello simon hey up hey up hey all right all right all right i have to get him in the field oh i yeah the field needs simon goulding he's outstanding in his own field he is <laughs> Well, the world's our oyster now. What should we do next? Oh, I don't know. I mean, we could even throw that other Andrew Gold one on. That's a good idea. Is it? Excellent idea. All right. What? Right here, right now. If you want. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Yeah. I'm game. <laughs> no, I can't remember the title, but I do know it. <laughs> it's called Never Let Us Slip Away. Ah, yeah. And uh, this will be interesting. <laughs> but I'm game, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. You game for most things, you are. Whoa. All right. <laughs> yeah, the key to this one is to imagine you're on a chorus line, tempo wise. I 
It really only matter about a week ago But it doesn't seem to matter to my heart I know that I love her I'm praying that I never recover Yeah, she's good for me And it will really make me happy To never let it slip away Yeah, she's good for me And it will really make me happy To never let her slip away Oh, no, it's gonna make me happy To never let her slip away Impressive the way you remember that. No rehearsal. Did I remember it? Uh, halfway through, I was convinced I played it completely wrong, uh, and then I just had to plow on. But it sounded all right. Yeah, <laughs> it sounded brilliant. Great. And let's dedicate it to uh, Mr. Mike Cole. He's the uh, transcriber and librarian for the live stream, oh. and it's one of his favourite songs. Him and Alison. Oh, excellent. Yeah. He so documents religiously every show. Wow. Every stream from the Zen Den. It's documented. Fantastic. That's a lot of work because there are like streams every hour of every day of every week. <laughs> it's a slight exaggeration, Gareth. So there are normally two a week. Oh, sorry. Friday and Sunday. Oh, okay. There you go. My mistake. <laughs> this is number 145. There you go. See? <laughs> Granted, there are a lot. No, the, well, what would we do without them? That's the thing. I'm wondering if we should play the pleasant beggar. Oh, okay, I'll douse myself. Wait a minute. <laughs> that needs a fanning down before. It does need a right fanning down. Thank you. <laughs> this, re this requires tricky folk tuning. Are you dropping your E? The old drop D. Which I always forget to tune back up afterwards because that's me. I might try my new doohickey on this, my little doohickey. Yeah. So if I bail out halfway, you'll you'll know what's going on. Doohickey, what's yeah. that? It's just a little thumb pick sort of thing, but I'll see what it sounds like. If I don't like it, I'll, I'll throw it over there, okay. Well, I'm glad I worked out it was a, a thumb pick, because I had my back turned here, so it wasn't lip reading, I thought you said a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> no triple tonguing here. Thank you. You have me worried.
<laughs> yeah. Plenty of that. Mate, you did amazing. That trumpet was going... Trumpet's going tentative, doesn't then? I need to be in more practice for that, wouldn't I, Mike? Well, it was oh. worth a go. I thought it was amazing. Well, I love you very much. Thank I don't you. know how you do it. <laughs> That's all I can do to strum three chords. A very medium tempo. <laughs> Still get them in the wrong order. You're not alone that. See, I did it again. I forgot to find tune back up. Ah, yeah, but no harm was done. You hadn't actually started a tune. That's true. <laughs> Unlike earlier. Uh, let's do one or, in fact, let's do both of yours. Great, okay. Let's have a Gareth interlude. Fantastic. This boy is not only amazing at playing the, with a trumpet and <laughs> singing, he's a fantastic writer too, as we're about to find out. Okay, this is a song uh, I wrote many years ago, that, but it features in, um, in the play Fly Half, which some of you may know about which hopefully we'll be touring again very soon. Written by Gary Lagdon, the, the play. It's an absolutely marvellous bit of work by him. Um, this one's called Cloud Cover, and uh, I wrote it when I was away on tour, um, having expected to go out and see the meteor shower one night. It was just Cloud Cover, so that was what sparked it. I wrote that down in my diary, and then the song kind of came from there. It's kind of Cloud Cover.
fantastic song. Oh, thank you very much. You can hear the, I'm sure you can hear too, the kind of loneliness in the lyric. And you spend a lot of time very, very, very far from home. Don't you? you did do. I did do, yeah. This is the this is the, the one thing about, you know, the past two years, whatever, you know. You haven't been forced at gunpoint to go and tour Australia for a long time or no, America? No, no, not yet. Mm. Is it? Will it? Has uh, it been threatened yet? It's or? not. No, um, mm. I'd be sort of looking very sort of vague, you know, still. And um, yeah. and also, there's, you know, honestly, there's a there's a, I think there's a lack of desire as well for for like the musicians themselves to yeah. sort of get in, actually go and do that. You know. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not surprised. I mean, not not from any other reason apart from the fact that it's just like it's 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 tricky and dodgy and, and yeah. uncertain and. Yeah. You don't want to get trapped, you know, in another country, self-isolating or yeah. whatever. I don't know. So it's difficult. Yeah. But I've quite enjoyed not getting on flights, actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it will change. Maybe it will change forever, folks. Da, da, da. Less heath rows and more local fields. So that, be, I'm, I'm be well up for it. that. Well up for that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That actually, that that song was actually it was written, uh, you know, when I was dead lonely and stuff. But uh, on you know, away from home and friends. But um, it was sort of about how, no matter how far you are away, in this case, it was ten thousand miles in Australia. Um, they have those sort of invisible ties that still connect you somehow. You know, when you think yeah. about something, they ring you up and that kind of thing. That yeah. kind of hippy dippy stuff, man. That's right. Love it. Uh, do you want to do that? Tide line? Tub it? Right, okay. Yep. Another one from Fly Half, written specifically for Fry Half. Fry Half. <laughs> Fry Half. Iced water, that'd be a lovely idea, thank you. Throwing over my head. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that is going to come back sooner, hopefully, isn't it? Fly Half. You've got a few dates in the diary? For Absolutely, that? yeah. We've, got, we've um, definitely got some in the diary. Whether they'll still be there or not, I don't know, but uh, yeah. everyone's in the same boat. But yeah, hopefully. With it being a, st- a two hander two two uh, two person operation it's easy to a bit more flexible and it's and it's uk based uk based pretty much only even though we have yeah. ambitions to take it elsewhere but uh, yeah. every rugby it's a it's a play about rugby in case you didn't know at the decline of that and the more working class and a relationship between a, a father and a son and it's it's delightful <laughs> i sold that well didn't i um I yeah know, so I, yeah, I want to see it you should well i had tickets now i couldn't go that's right can't remember why. Probably the gig. I don't, I don't think I did actually. <laughs> I don't know. No, maybe I did. Anyway, next time I, would, I wouldn't have blamed you. <laughs> but it's it's also ironically, it's uh, Gary and me were laughing about it, saying that um, we've designed the uh, the perfect COVID play because like <laughs> most of the audiences are tiny anyway, so <laughs> there's only two of us. We can we can socially distance perfectly on stage, so <laughs> it's great. Yeah. The irony of it. The irony. This is um this is called Tideline.
And if they choose to respond We'll try not to be cruel Cause every word that you say You could never take them away Now the light is gone And I miss you Find me staring at the sky Together we walk the tide line Together we walk the tide line Together we walk to end the season Darkening skies call time on time It's behind you. <laughs> How did you get that from there to there like that? Wow! How did you do that? That's a real skill, one of your many. I've, I've had drinks like this before. <laughs> they look very similar. Just talk amongst yourselves yeah, out there. I'm Sorry. About to say the same. Yeah. Make sure you watch where you're pouring. You. Thank you, sir. Oh, lovely. Cheers. Mm. Big cheers to Mr. Gareth Moulton, eh? What a star. It's a star on a reasonably priced Zenden. <laughs> That's what. Um, that's what Paul Burchell used to say about us, isn't it? They're the, be they're the best in their price bracket, which I, re <laughs> which I really like. That's about as complimentary as he ever got. That's true. Mm. Dear, dearly beloved, dearly beloved Perch. I would say we have time for one more. Do we? And I think as the guest, you may choose it. Oh, my God. Uh, no, I couldn't possibly do that. You choose it. It's yours end then, after all. The pressure. I think it should be either overkill. Yeah. Let's do that then. <laughs> <laughs> no point beating about the bush, is there? Now this is a tricky one. What are you doing there? So it's both E's down to D. Double drop D tuning. What do we think about that studio audience? Wow. Wow. <laughs> what do we think about that streaming audience? Nothing. Right, Nothing. fair enough. <laughs> mm. Yeah, okay. I never noticed that. Well, that's because I did it behind your back. 
<laughs> With no, a trumpet. No, exactly. to sleep I think about the implications of diving in too deep and possibly the complications especially at night I worry over situations I know we'll be alright perhaps it's just imagination Day after day, it repeats. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Goes to fear and fail. Along between the sheets. It only brings exasperation It's time to walk the streets And smell the desperation At least there's pretty lights And while there's not much variation It nullifies the night From overkill Day after day It reveals Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear Ghosts appear and fade Came back another day Situations that I, I know I'll be alright. It's just overkill. Day after day, it reveals. Night after night, my beat shows the fear. Lord Gareth Moulton, in the Zen Den. You have graced us with your presence, with your brilliance, with I've your dark, genius. I've come and darkened your towels. You've wetted the stage area underneath you. Yes, indeed. 
small puddle. I'll never wash that area. <laughs> <laughs> you lie. <laughs> Sally will. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Joe, behind the scenes, Thank saving you, the day yet again. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, our illustrious studio audience, June, Nikki, Steve, and Andrea. So much better with you guys here and with you guys here. Thanks for being with us yet again. Back next Friday. Cheers. 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 So good to see you again. So great to see you again, Ridiculously mate. overdue. <sighs> back in <laughs> back in Wootenfield next Sunday with the wonderful Chris Bannister. Mm. I'll try and hijack him to do next Sunday's stream. Friday it'll be little me. Or oh, maybe we'll have a studio audience. We'll work that one out. Great to see you guys. You take care. Be kind to each other. You have a safe home to Macclesfield. No falling asleep after your busy day. <laughs> I'll have a nap. Put it in cruise and have a nap. <gasps> no! no. Oh, I, d I didn't even say that. You can pull over at Woolly Edge. Yes. No. <laughs> That's not on your way. It's not. If I pull over at Woolly Edge, I've definitely done something wrong. <laughs> One and all, thank you so much. You. See you very soon. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.